it is 211 i'm still in mumbai i remember reading somewhere about our packing gets a lot simpler if you just roll your clothes and stuff fold them and i've rolled all of my clothes down I'm getting my freak shape. He's gonna record himself eating. Okay, we'll record you eating. No, we're not gonna record. Can you stop doing that to me? That's so good, dude. Holy shit. Oh my god. Mine's gonna be so much better. You recommended this to me. Just like. Just so you can win the competition? Yeah. That's so cheap too. This is Radhika posing for a photograph. Candid. Shut up. What is this? You have to tell me I look bad. I look so weird. And you're not. Take a picture. Okay. That's twist, waffles, and pretzels in a milkshake. Your diet is going really well. Really well. You're eating so healthy. Wow. I'm eating healthy. I'm getting thinner. You know, Fit. Mm -hmm. Not. How is Snapchat selfie judgeable? Very judgeable. Vlogging is judgeable. Can you stop? <laughs> what are you doing, Radhika? Drugs. Which may or may not look like lipstick. Hello. Radhika here gets more views on her Snapchat in 24 minutes than I ever will on YouTube in my whole life. Yay! When I head to the other end of the city to meet uh, Adnan again and a couple of other friends before I leave for home, and I just feel like no one takes better advantage of Ubers than I do. I've got, uh, so I have this little device here, which allows me to plug like a normal wall plug into it. So I'm charging this laptop and getting like a lot of my editing work done here. At the same time, my phone is charging to that same device and I've got this car's USB port charging my watch. So it's pretty much like just spending an hour at a cafe working and I think that's pretty awesome because Bombay kill a lot a lot of time just traveling and I love the idea of being able to just work on that whole travel. So we spoke quite a few but I was in quite a bit of uh, field research. And then I came to my friend Shishir's home to meet uh, Veer and Pudha for a bit. And now I'm waiting on my Uber and we'll get the bus stand and get home tonight. Hey, hey. Surprising. So while waiting for my Uber, this guy walks up to me with his wife and young and really young child. And he asked me, he says, he spoke to me in Hindi and he said, I actually come from Nagpur and I came here for work and my manager cheated me. And now I just want to get home with my uh, family and I don't have any money so can you just give me, lend me some money for dinner so I said uh, and typically when things like this happen it's uh, and like we've basically grown up on the premise that uh, you're never supposed to speak to a stranger when he tells you a story about how he got cheated and he's asking you for money but I felt kind of bad because I saw like the wife and the child but anyway I told him that you know I have to leave and I walked off and then I just thought to myself this guy just needs dinner I'll just like give so I googled temples around the area and I showed it to him on my maps and I said look there's temples like five minutes away you can just walk it with your wife and child and you get free food and they like give you a place to stay for the night and, and then suddenly his tail just totally twisted he said no that's cool we found a guy to like feed us and all we just need like some money to help us for this and that and I was just like you know I'll leave it and I was like okay chalo 
and I walked off. But I just hate it when like people use children for emotional blackmail. It's probably like the worst way to cheat someone. And probably the worst thing that I could have done for that child at that moment was to give him some money for food or whatever it was. Because as soon as he left there, he would have probably blown the money on something else and dropped off the child somewhere else. I mean, whenever you see children working or begging, probably the worst thing you can do is give them money. I mean, if you find like little children on the road begging for uh, money or trying to sell things, probably the worst thing you can do to them is give them money because that's just encouraging business for them and the parents, whoever's forcing them to do this is going to make them work more. I guess like the best thing to do in these situations would be to just offer them food directly because that they get to eat on their own.